Alright, sorry about that, guys. Everyone, and welcome to the stream. I am Razim, and this is Dwarf Fortress. I was just setting up a uh, sticker pack on Telegram for the new Cobalt uh, emotes, so... Wanted to get that done real quick. One second. So how's everyone doing this evening? Today's been a very busy day. Alright, grab that sea cleaner why do you pop up in opportune times god damn it there when i started up <sighs> do you guys want jazz or rock for the background music you know Well, we gotta vote one way, both ways, so, uh, somebody be the tiebreaker. By the way, guys, I was actually prepared this time. I had Dwarf Fortress already open. Mostly because I forgot to close it last night, but you know what? <laughs> Cause it's a lot easier for me to just do one or the other. So I suppose I could switch in an hour or two. That would work. All right. Actually, we'll start off with rock. I need something to get the blood pumping. Where's my... Oh, we'll do this one. Oh yeah, I forgot this one starts off really slow and peaceful and ready to put me to sleep. Doesn't work. Got plenty of food, got plenty of drink. A little too much food. <laughs> So we need to get our military back up and going in full. Ooh, a lasher.
<laughs> that, that close enough for you, Eurist? <laughs> so apparently my Baron has become a Count. Is that what happens when they uh, level up or something? Buizels has evolved into Count Buizels. Mark's Dwarf. <clears throat> that would be awesome of you. And I'm sure Zest would enjoy it too. here now. They've all been approved. Hot diggity dog. Please be you. God damn it, another bard. What is with all the freaking bards? on new to I forgot to check what we added for them hey you're supposed to be named after Anzu Actually, no, you're not even supposed to be my captain of the... Where the hell did you come from? Also, my mayor wants me to make more bucklers. Ugh. 
place. Oh, I guess they were an, a leader. All right. Anzu the second. likes great swords. Can dwarves even use a two-handed sword? Okay, how is a pick a foreign weapon for a dwarf? That should be as natural to them as anything. Oh, they can't use any two-handed weapons, apparently. At least they don't have any native ones. So Anzu's a great leader, well, sorry, Anzu the second is a great leader, but the only thing he can do is swim. Jeez, and he's weak and clumsy and uh, none of this is good. I hope I can improve those stats. Oh, none of my human people are wielding any armor. I guess they don't come with their own armor. Yay. 
So I need to make a steel spear and an iron spear. Move that and weapon spear. Oh yeah, I guess a wood a uh, woodcutter would uh, be the uh, proficient with the battle axe by default. I also need one, two, three, four, five iron armors for humans. pieces of that. I thought they came with their own armor. What the hell? Looking for greaves. Five of them. Details, filter, come on. Then we need high boots. Sure that they're actually equipped. Yes. Looks like they've all got shields or bucklers already. And most of them already have weapons. That one needs a shield or buckler. Uh, GM. Let's remove this. I guess I can't... Okay. Well, I'll just do that to make it so my... Uh, what's... Whatchama calls him? Why were these suspended? Oh yeah, headwear. I forgot that. 
so I guess it doesn't really matter what it is exactly. Iron helmet. Yes. Five. My favorite gen, um, for the actual game itself would be Gen 3. Uh, I enjoyed Ruby and Sapphire quite a bit. Um, next very close one would be... Uh, Gen 2 because I love the fact that you got to go back to the previous uh, to Kanto um, Beyond that uh, it was most of the I haven't had a lot of big favorites Um it was just that uh, Gen 3 was such a varied environment. Uh, you were constantly going to different places from underwater to uh, floating cities to uh, treetop towns. It, it was so varied. I loved it. I agree wholeheartedly, Aizen. Also, they seriously need to stop coming up with new gimmicks. I am not looking forward to the new to the Dynamaxing with the new Sword and Shield. I'm gonna get them. They get the games. Well, one of them. Uh, I'm going to stream it. However. I'm not looking forward to the Dynamaxing. It's like... The only time you've got them Dynamaxed is if both Pokemon are Dynamaxed. At which point, it's the same battle, just bigger. <laughs> More destructive in the entire world. <laughs> And now they've done, uh, I, I think they called it Gigantomaxing, which is basically they combined Dynamaxing with Mega Evolutions, and we're going to run into the exact same problem there that we did, that we have with Mega Evolutions, is that only some Pokemon have a Mega Evolution. And so everybody has the Pokemon that have Mega Evolutions. Dynamaxing, I guess, was an okay idea for a gimmick up until they introduced the Gigantomaxing, or whatever it is that they're calling it. Because the Dynamaxing, at least all the Pokemon could use it. Mega Evolving was an awesome idea, but they've done so little with it. That, that's kind of my problem, is that they just keep coming up with new... They, they just keep coming up with all of these new gimmicks and, and dropping the old ones. It's like, stick with it. Give us more Mega Evolutions. Don't just pretend they never happened or whatever. <laughs> Cause damn it, I want a Mega Evolution for Arcanine.
Are you really only 17? I mean, I grew up playing those. But, you know, that was back in the 90s. Alright, they're gonna get a shield. They've got their weapon. I'm gonna specify the material. Well, no. I'll just let them grab whatever. That guy's gonna have a buckler or shield soon. Okay, so I need... 10 leather shields or bucklers. Let's start with that. I was always more of a PC gamer. That's where I wanted to, that's what I wanted to play. Okay, I know I've made enough leather equipment. For some reason, they're just not using them. Oh, well, I guess I'll make more. Alright, so we need one, two... Oh, those are human ones. So, one dwarf, two human, two dwarf, three dwarf, two human, four, five. So, five dwarf and three human. Next up, we got handware, it looks like. Yeah. One dwarf, one human. Two dwarf, one human. Three dwarf. Four dwarf. Five. Okay, so five dwarf and two human ones for handware. Okay, so I guess we'll make mittens. So five dwarf ones, and I need two human. Alright, so there's that. Military E. Uh, Bucklers are being taken care of. Headwear is being taken care of. So that one's good. The human needs leather armor. So one, two... Three human-sized leather armor.
two human sized legwear. I have a PS4, PC, PS3, uh, I guess technically my phone. I've got a Switch. I've got a Wii, but I don't know where any of the cables are. I absolutely love my Switch. I used to have one of the original 3DSs, but I traded it in... Or actually, no, I think I gave it away and just outright bought a new 3DS XL. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Okay, footwear, we need human, two human, and three human ones. Oh, I boot. Three. Three, size, human. There! Now my archers are going to have their equipment. I might need one more buckler. Actually, I'm making some shields, so I think we'll be good. Well, just one. Eh. Nothing wrong with having some extras. And my human mace man is missing everything. Is there a way to just increase the number of these? I guess not. So... Breastplate one, iron greaves one, high boot, gauntlet. and also need a helmet. Last 
but not least. And now everything is good to go. Uh, actually, I do as well, Eurist. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something that I've advertised because it's got. It really has very little bearing on much. I've got a few quirks that pop up here and there, but. Uh, guys, I'm going to step away for just a moment. I'll be right back. And I have returned. Needed to get some water. <laughs> Do some gold crafts. 60 of them. I think I've got an. I could use some more gold. Luckily, I know exactly where to grab some. Yas, yas, yas. Uh, well, they're not gonna dig out the floor here, so. By the way, guys, I have decided that I'm going to be doing a fresh embark on Saturday. So be there. That'd be square. This time I think I'm gonna try for uh, I try and force myself to do a above ground fort.
hell is cobaltite? Is that just a... Uh, is that a gem? Or... Oh, it's not an ore. Okay. You know, I've gotten very lucky so far that nothing uh, flying has come up through that hole. <laughs> Jeez. Could have sworn I covered all these holes. Apparently not. Well, I'm doing so now. Okay, that one's covered. Perfect. Let's do this. What is all this? I've got plenty of gold! Why aren't my dwarves digging it up? Or picking it up, rather. I need more dwarves just focused purely on hauling. Your desire god God would be good Is a level 16 brewer not brewing? <laughs> I disagree. I will agree to disagree there. Red is best. Uh, 
There. I added more haulers. Oh! House of Darkness has arrived! What kind of vile force of darkness? Ah, goblins. Red alert! Red alert! Okay. Well, they've got multiple trolls and beak dogs with them so far. But if this is all that's going to show up, then I don't see a big reason to worry about them, but I'm sure this isn't all that's going to come. Oh god, those are a lot more trolls. Okay, okay. We are, uh, Pulling up the drawbridge. <laughs> Everyone get inside. Dogs. Okay, those uh, trolls are getting a little too close. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just let them in. How many are there? There's a lot of them. 
but I also have a lot of guests. Well, it's like I'm planning to, uh... I've been planning to just, you know, reset the, uh, or do a fresh embark here soon. Maybe I'll let him in and see what happens. What do you think? Should I do it? Open the drawbridge? You don't seem very sure about that, Eurist. Or Asen, sorry. <laughs> I mean, you did say to kill all of them. Also, your first one already died anyways. Face them like dwarves! You want to be in a squad? I mean, I can give you your own squad by yourself. Though I was planning to have you just do that is focused on my tavern, and hopefully, they will all just pile in there and it'll be a massive bloodbath you know I mean I've got 230 citizens lots of uh, war dogs and of course all my guests oh yeah you want solo squad all right how the hell do I make a new squad <laughs> oh yeah you know what I will set you as my champion where are you well, there's Anzu the second Alright, everybody, to the burrow! And squads, A. Hey. You move here! You can be back here. And you 
kick position. Yeah. All right. All of our final stand is here and now. Treaty Channel shall live or die this day. Somebody going to pull that lever? There we go. The lever has been pulled. Oh my My poor computer is struggling. I'm down to eight to eight processes. <laughs> Oh my god! Guys, stop trying to work! All the spam! Now I'm down to six! It's already being a bloodbath up there. Oh, the hammer dwarf that was visiting! He's uh, apparently nobly distracting them. All right, all my citizens are nearly into position. Uh, your your dwarf died a while ago. I don't think I even still have that Enjoy dwarf. Your stay. Well, hello there, Eurisocrat. Welcome. Very nice name, by the way. Yeah, I don't even have that report anymore. Sorry, uh, Asen. All right, so these goblins are attacking. I've got all of so to give you an update here, you aristocrat. Um, well, uh, Eisen, I'll, I'll, I've got a large uh, army of trolls, beak dogs, and goblins that are attacking. And instead of just sealing the gates and letting them wander around outside, because my fort is completely secure from the outside, uh, I've got all of my food inside, all of my uh, crops, all of my animals, everything is safe if I just pull up the drawbridge. But I'm going to be doing a fresh embark on Saturday anyways. so. I've opened it, and I have everyone piling into my tavern here, right at the entrance. That is exactly how you have fun, you aristocrat. I am making my fun. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. 
The gates are open. I am letting them in. All of my dwarves are piling into the tavern. The final stand. I am sure I've got enough dwarves that I will obliterate. Enough dwarves and guests that these uh, goblins aren't going to stand a chance. But. I'm probably going to have more than a few casualties, too. Well, the battles have begun. A couple of trolls have wandered in. Oh, hey, Baygorda. Uh, I'm going to expand this to include this area. Well, I've got a total of... Oh, apparently the goblins have broken and are retreating. They're like, oh god, maybe we can't take them on. <laughs> well, what's left we could easily dispatch. Alright. My archers will be positioned here. Verbs of war. Lead it. Here. And ochre wars, you go in between. Yeah, apparently the goblins decided to run. Hey, I consider we don't have to actually die. That's the important thing. Flying iron bolt strikes the troll in the lower body, tearing the muscle and tearing the stomach through. Oh, jeez. The iron bolt has lodged firmly in the wound. Oh, hey! The bards are useful! The bards are being cannon fodder! Mentally challenged. I am down to four FPS. Oh no, I went back up to five. Woo!
Well, it seems we are definitely driving them off. Are there any others left? Burbs of war! Attack! Yes, I am cheating just for the sake of killing them all. Go, my dwarves. I'm just seeing parts of him going lying in every direction. And right before he escaped. Okay, we're still in siege. We got one more. Attack! All of you on him. <laughs> He's panicked. Yes, run. Run in vain of my army. I think I had one death. Yep, the sea has ended. Well, there's a bunch of dead trolls. A uh, couple of bards, a random hammer dwarf, I think that's the one that was visiting. I don't think I personally had any losses out of that. All three of my squads are still plenty of soldiers. Treaty Channel shall survive. Now 
Now, is that actually working? No, it is not. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. That worked. Let's engrave some memorials. I'm pretty sure that a lot of these are, uh... That one's entombed, that one's entombed. Hey, Sin, I will make a memorial of your original self. How is it throwing you off, Aizen? <clears throat> and also, I am very pleased with that outcome. Let's make another 10 rock slabs. do 90 gold ore because I'm pretty sure I've got that much floating around in my uh, caves. Aizen was here I'm pretty sure.
Ah, Eisen was here. I really can't wait for the uh, website to get back up and running. I'm going to be making uh, sticker sheets for the emotes that we've got now. Have a big grin. off building walls and thingamajiggers where are my gabbro box gabbro 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 <laughs> All right, so that fight definitely was uh went a lot better than I expected it to. I was expecting heavy losses, not zero losses. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the way it went down was not actually that they looked at my forces and got scared and ran, but I don't care because that's how I'm going to remember that fight. They came to raid and I just scared them off with my own army. Also, becoming our capital. Looks like I am definitely uh, able to become the capital now. Though I have no idea how. Oh, we'll set our broker as the hammerer. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Cowards. Okay. 
cowards, all of them. No, designate all, please. I want to make fancy. Just goes to show, ZGF dwarves are the best dwarves. Because we're secretly kobolds. I 100% Aizen. It makes... I mean, the, each game can have its own lore on how things work, but I disagree with that particular lore. my sandstone blocks. There's that. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 I prefer more advanced kobolds. Not, I mean, not exactly primitive ones, but not as, uh, definitely not primitive as, uh, they've got them here on, uh, this game by default. Yeah, I would say they've been, they're at least past the uh, primitive, the tribal stage and stuff. I think that they would, by D and D lore, they would excel very well with uh, uh, weapon or with uh, traps and stuff.
Where did that other troll die at? <laughs> yeah, definitely not mechanical wizards, but better than what they tend to do with them. Um, I mean, why not both? Maybe that'll help because I want to get I, I need to get more iron smelting Now, why are these things just sitting here? The hell is a bush tit? <laughs> Apparently, there are remains of it. Oh, 
All right. Get all these walls built back up. Not one of the corners. But that's easily remedied. Okay, so that hasn't been suspended. Perfect. No, floor. Where's my sandstone? Am I out of sandstone blocks? Really? Oh, there they are. I am low, though. Alright, uh, give me a sec here. Yeah, I got plenty of sandstone for all that. And more than enough Gabbro, holy crap. Oh, it's a, uh, It has a very unfortunate name, though. But then again, most birds do. Have you noticed that? Uh, most birds seem to have... Oddly... I don't quite want to call it sexual, but... 
they're kind of more sexualized than other creature names. Molts. Yeah, exactly. Like the blue footed booby. <laughs> it's very weird how that's happened. I kind of play it off as one of the earliest forms of trolling. Uh, uh, that's what I'm deciding that is the reason for those names. Yep. Yeah, it's just like we have all these random and all these random birds that <laughs> Hey there Tvar, good to see you again. Thank you very much. Uh you just missed the siege. We'll have a We'll have an ammo one randomly right there. We had a bun we had a rather large goblin siege pop up and I piled all of my dwarves. I, I piled all of my dwarves into this area. All of them. And the goblins were like, they, they kind of came over and were like, yeah, we're not facing that. And most of them ran. I had, there were a couple of casualties from uh, my current population. 229 for citizens. Got a lot of livestock and pets though. I should probably, uh, that would probably help with my FPS. You know, get rid of some of them. Oh, believe me, it is really low. You know, 12, 11, when that siege was happening, I was down to four and five. It was not pleasant.
you want a fine pewter door? How? How do I even make pewter? Okay, that was actually kind of close to computer. And he wants a fine pewter door, of course. Our community grows. Oh, hey, thank you very much for that follow. How much tin do I have? Any? I have one. It has been an hour. All right, we'll move over to uh, jazz, yeah. So I've got this guy on Telegram. Oh, hey, a forgotten beast. Kogan, an enormous three-eyed rove beetle. It has two long curving horns and it has a bloated body. Its goldenrod exoskeleton is leathery. Beware its fire. And it's sealed off down here and can't actually get to me. <laughs> I love how they're just load, uh, listed as uninvited guests. Is there no actual icon? Oh, there he is. there okay oh 
Oh yeah, I know what a rove beetle is, but thank you. Okay. There's a lot of weird animals out there, that's for sure. Hey, Seth Autos, thank you very much for those biddies. Also, welcome to the stream. Newcomers are always very welcome. <clears throat> Well, I guess that, uh, <laughs> Asa knows ya. Here, here. Those are for you, uh, Seth Autos. So I made a Telegram sticker pack of the emotes. I've got somebody who's bothering me on there about Telegram exclusive ones, and I just don't understand why I would do that. I'm going to take this Forgotten Beast on, I hope. I'm starting a new breach on Saturday anyway, or a new embark on Saturday anyway, so why not? Telegram is a really nice, uh, very secure uh, chat service. Uh, they've got custom stick that you can make with, well, whatever you want in them. You guys go there. You move, y'all. Well, the support is definitely very much appreciated. Thank you so much. It's because of people like you that I can keep bringing these uh, streams and content to you all.
Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, this is not good. Also, why are some of these white? Why are there random spatterings of troll blood? All right, cancel station. And I got to build some walls. <laughs> I really gotta figure out where the points are for these. Would you guys get out of there? God damn it. What is this? Why is there a crown down here? Well, I guess I'll hope that it can climb. I enjoy streaming it. Okay, would you... Move here. Well, at least they grabbed the crown. Build the wall, please. Did you really just... Oh, for the love of all that is holy. Seriously, you nib? God damn it. Well, it's too late to get them out of there. So, Bud, unfortunately, you are drowning. Actually, I think I can do up downstairs, can't I? Yeah. Go dig those out. 
Quickly! It's only a two... It's only a depth of two. Alright, Judith, get out of there. God damn it. Why are you just sitting there? Not really bad, just, you know, one of my doors be stupid. Okay, he's way over there. But he might come over this way. Oh good, the dwarf finally got out of there. They finally got out of there. Thankfully. forbid all of this. Come on, Mr. Forgotten Beast, get over here. want a fight. Well, hi there, Anir. How are ya?
Okay. The Forgotten Beast is somewhere over here. Yeah, there he is. So... Move here. And you guys... Also come down here and station. Okay. Where the hell did it go? How did it get all the way over there? Ugh. Also, yes, uh, chamomile would be sleepy tea, yeah. Oh, come on, don't leave. Looks like it might be... No. No. Down! Go down! I'm just drinking water myself. I've got good water, so, you know.
I, uh, you, you know those water machines in the, uh, in like Walmart and Smith's and such? I've got five gallon jugs that I fill those up with. And I've got a water machine right behind me that I, that keeps it either cold or, you know, boiled. Uh, the say the stuff T Varg's drinking, yeah, it's just tap water. Some cities have better tap water than others. Fine. You guys, you don't want to come here. Fine. The door's open. <laughs> There's so much water down here. Again, I as in some cities have better tap water than others. My water's basically, uh, bottled water. But also, not quite. Oh, would you grab all this stuff? the horse and the camel alpacas are good for uh or at least i assume they're good for uh wool and such Nope, don't slaughter that. Llama, probably good for wool. Yeah, we'll slaughter the donkey. And rabbit. Oh well, no. I'll hold on to the rabbit. T Varg? That's not exactly what you'd call clean. I have no need for horses. need two bulls, just one.
Give my people some more pets. Bergendorf, uh, we use the ethereal influence mostly for D&D games, though you can also use it to uh, get discounts off of our merch. Uh, right now, the website for merch is down, unfortunately, but uh, we'll have it back up soon. Postpawn, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for coming by. Oh, lovely. Gotta love these spam accounts. It's like, do they really expect people to um, do this? And now we ban him. Yeah, you get coins just by watching the uh, stream, or you also can get them through uh, supporting the channel. This tame flying squirrel is not actually domesticated. I don't know what I'm going to do with the thing. Is there a filter option? There is not. Let's get some of these, uh, some more trained animals, yeah.
Thank you for that, Aizen. I feel supposed to be granite. Yep, granite. All right. Thor, granite. Also, are my doors still here? Yep, looks like they're still good. How do I render flat, uh, fat? And I should have a slaughter. Okay. We'll do 90 lavish meals. Not easy. Fine. And we'll do 180 of these. Oh, we get, the, you get those bot accounts every now and then. They pop in, they always post the same message, and they're always talking about going to their banner and the, the banner on their channel and all this other crap, and it's like, seriously? I'm like, if you want to do free stuff for the cha for the uh, channel by all means but I'm not paying you to do stuff if I don't know you I got other people to do stuff for me people I'd rather pay
the hell is a crundle? people fighting a crundle over here? I don't know what's going on there, but okay. Okay, so those are set to be gra uh, blah, 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 Gathered. Oh, winter's come. no idea what to do with my fort now. <laughs> I just have no idea. Let's make sure they all have equipment. You still have not grabbed equipment. Okay. Some more leather gauntlets. There. They're all good at least. Alright, I think I know what I'm going to do for the rest of this stream, because I just have no idea what else to do here. My next fort is going to be a primarily above ground one. I, I decided that. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to generate a new world. Large, let's do a long history. We'll keep that medium. Yeah, 
medium. We're gonna make beasts high. We'll leave that at medium and everywhere for minerals. I'm gonna prepare the new world, the, the new fortress. No, probably not. I'll probably get something started on the new one. I'm gonna make it a little easier for myself uh, while also making, uh, parts of it will be easier, other parts are gonna be more difficult. Hey, very nice grab there, Bergendorf. Not yet, Aizen. However, the uh, devs have said that they want to add boats and even actual fortresses that you can build on a ship. I cannot wait for that. I don't think they can. Uh, you get one coin every 10 minutes that you watch. I tried setting it to two coins every 10 minutes and apparently the uh, service I used decided not to actually do that, so I, I kind of just gave up on that idea. But you can get coins from grabbing those stars when they pop up. Uh, there are little chests that pop up on the screen where that you can click on. Uh, they pop up, uh, I think I've, I think it's set for every 15 minutes for, uh, about half the viewers. Don't quote me on that. But if you click the chest on the screen, then you'll get some, uh, coins from that. And like I said, uh, you can get coins by grabbing merch or uh, supporting the channel on Patreon. You get some coins from following, from rating. Uh, there's quite a, way, a few ways to grab uh, coins.
<laughs> Not very long if you uh, donate or something. Just being honest. <laughs> another great way determination that also is a great way to grab some more coins thank you so much for that subscription welcome Pizza sounds good. Send me some pizza. I, I decided to at least generate the new world. in preparation for Saturday because I just had no idea what else to do on that one. This new world will be difficult. My favorite kind of pizza is, uh, it goes by two names, uh, white pizza or poor man's pizza, depending on who you ask. It's got an oil-based sauce as opposed to the normal red sauce. And it also, uh, usually it comes with banana peppers on it, but I like to replace those with sausage or pepperoni. Oh, it's delicious. Unfortunately, I can't get it here in Utah. <laughs> that's something that's more often found uh, out in Ohio or the more eastern states kind of area. I don't really see that here, uh, Asen. I am not that good of a cook. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I guess it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Looking at it some more here, I guess it does kind of look like Europe. I want to get to year 200. And then I'll do the, uh, maybe the game is, uh, struggling to generate this, that much stuff. I really think that they can do, uh, that they could do the, uh, Uh, 
I'm ready. And there we go. Or not. There it goes. I don't want to settle in a uh, in uh, islands, honestly, because then I get no trade or raids, for that matter. Use the world. I mean... Maybe if there is one Bergendorf. Buy some stuff. And then please buy some more stuff. Uh, what video? Uh, Bergendorf, you can also sling. Uh, do exclamation point sling space the angle that you want to sling at, and then another space and the power that you're slinging at. Uh, for the record, if you do like 90 and uh, 300 power, it's going to sling you all the way off screen. Mata Ustra, the fortress. Uh, Bergendorf, you are welcome to do whatever you want with the, uh, you, you can do whatever. I don't mind that much. We're going to go with a medium savagery. 
Preferably, I'm just gonna leave it evil in a elevation doesn't matter temperature medium rain medium drainage I don't even know what drainage is for yes for flux stone yeah we'll leave that in a yes I want a river I want multiple multiple some soil and yes clay You will honestly probably need to remind me of that, uh, Asen. Uh, if you go off screen, then you'll just uh, pop back on after a bit. Uh, unless, uh, like, if you launch uh, almost straight up, then you will uh, just fall back down. Uh, there are somewhat short uh, invisible walls on either side. Asen, I'm going to keep my uh, opinions there to myself. It's just for the best. <laughs> If you hit the uh, lower walls, yeah, you'll bounce off, but the walls do not e extend the full length of the uh, screen, so you can jump over them, or sling over them, rather. Can you, Bergendorf? I was not aware of that.
Jesus is taking forever to search. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with such a large world. <laughs> I mean, I just saw you bounce all the way back to the other side. Yeah, you guys just bounce off. <clears throat> and yeah, the max power I think I set for 500. Maybe a thousand. That could be it. I want to check how much I set it for while we're waiting for this to search. Okay, maximum power for sling is 1,000. Oh, hey! Apparently, you guys can drop bombs, though they cost 10 currency. This program is constantly updating, and they're adding more and more stuff to it. I love it. You got you can hug, you can attack others. Uh, apparently, there's a bomb command for 10 coins. I'm going to reduce that, though. We'll say five. Uh, I would rather not do it free because then we'll probably run into spamming. Just kind of what happens. But I guess I can set it to two. Then again, those of you with lots of Z coins and have been watching for a bit, you know, you're going to be able to get lots of uh, bombs easily. So you just drop a bomb on yourself. That's basically what it is. <laughs> Though if you're fast enough, you can probably drop a bomb and then sling yourself away. Uh, you can also do AVA duel, uh, followed by somebody's name to challenge them to a duel. And you guys can put Z coins on the line for the winner. Uh, the winner is randomly selected though. Just keep that in mind. But it does have a cute little animation at the bottom. Uh, you can also just do a free duel just for the sake of dueling. And there are no type advantages or anything. Uh, it's uh, We've got Pokemon, uh, Pokemon skin for this avatar basically, or this uh, program. All right. Let's browse these results. AVA. V is in victory. Alright, I don't want to be in the mountains.
Ooh, sinister area. What is Terrifying? Uh, I can't really accept the uh, duel because I'm streaming. Sorry. I don't want a brook. Hmm. I would like a full-fledged river. Mostly because I want to try it. See what it's like. I lost my cursor. Oh, there it is. <laughs> This is just, these are just streams. That's a stream. want something nice and big with lots of fish. forested would be nice. Can I at least get a minor river or something? Instead of all these freaking brooks and streams?
How about a lake? A lake would be interesting. What is this? Oh, Badlands. Okay, we'll avoid that. So most of this area is sparse, uh, sparsely wooded. Okay. Why is this area darker color? Oh, this is a real river. is situated here. You know what? I could probably live with this. And it gives me an actual river. <laughs> Heavily forested wilderness no trees for the lake here. No, we'll go over this way. Preferred Pokemon type? Fire. So why do they designate 
this area as being better. I'm confused by how this all works. This looks like it might be nice. Got woodland, wilderness, and a saltwater marsh. Interesting. You know what? This will work. to try customizing it fully. And this guy will also Well, I've never done this before, so I don't honestly know what all to expect. They have chemists and astronomers and geographers? Really? for that one. This guy will be our broker. So we want judge of intent. Razor. And they'll also be our woodcutter. I really regret going this route. I don't know what I'm doing. But at least I know about where I was, so...
I'm already going into territory where I'm still very new, so I kind of want to go with something a little bit, uh, you know, going with something that somebody else has prepared and knows and such. Hey there, Aca a cactus? Well, all right, cactus. <laughs> Hey, welcome. Thank you very much for coming by. And this is where I was. You know what? I am going to move it over. Oh, were you? Well, yeah, I figured it was. Very nice, you, uh, Asen. Good to. Hear. Very nice. Uh, we're just gonna go with... Uh, Dwarf Fortress is a, a free game, first off, that has been in beta or alpha since 2006. Uh, it's a game about dwarves and building a fortress. And fun. Though this game has a very unique definition of fun. <laughs> very, very unique. Uh, honestly, others would probably be better at explaining it than I am. Uh, this game has so much depth to it that it, it's hard to really just give a simple... Uh, it, it's hard to give a simple bare bones explanation. Um, there's so many little bits and pieces of the game that just create this incredible fun experience. Not their unique definition of fun. Their unique... Here, let me show you their the wiki entry. Let me show you the wiki entry. When you search for fun, it redirects you to Losing. The, uh, the, the kind of the whole catchphrase is losing is fun. And, and this graphic explains it best. Casual games. You go in, you order your fun. They bring it, you eat it. And that's it. Hardcore games. They, you have to fight for your fun. And then you get it and you're satisfied for a bit. Dwarf Fortress, on the other hand, has a much larger menu. And then you get killed by that thing. Then you get killed by this thing. Then you get killed by a bunch of goblins. Then you get killed by that monstrosity. And finally, at long last, you have your fun. 
So, that's Dwarf Fortress. Uh, a common, uh, a common, uh, concern, idea surrounding Dwarf Fortress is that, uh, if any game is going to become sentient, it is this one. It has so much more lore that is randomly generated than any other game has that is actually handwritten or randomly generated. Oh yeah, the, the game focuses so much on content that it doesn't have, it, it's got a uh, limited uh, U, well, it's got an extensive UI, but it's not, uh, you get used to it, but it honestly is not very, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. It has a bit of a learning curve, but anybody can learn it. There you go, Asen. Uh, Eurist uh, make vine sauce, or Asen, uh, there gives a much better explanation. They literally have a Legends mode that a lot of people enjoy just going in and looking at because it's just all the lore. Am I not starting with any animals on this one? I want animals. Um, Saturday, if you come to the stream, Cactus, I will be doing a fresh Embark, and I'll be more than happy to explain more of the game to you. Welcome to the Hamlet. If you can't make it to the Saturday stream, no worries. We've got uh, all of our previous recordings on YouTube. Oh wait. The animals are over here. Okay, so I am starting with animals. Good. A you and a ram. Well, thank you very much. To be honest, I hate my voice. But... A lot of people hate their own voices. <laughs> I've been slowly getting over that though as I'm streaming. I think I'm going to get rid of... I'm gonna get rid of this splint and crutch. Hopefully I won't actually need those very soon. And they're pretty easy to make.
Well, since I can't get those, uh, how about an alpaca? Oh, those are very expensive. Let's see, anything else I could go without? Hmm. Uh, right now I am actually preparing for a new embark. Ah, uh, yes! Exclamation point social in the chat. Uh, Aizen, if you want to grab that for him. Or her? Sorry. <laughs> that works. Uh, there's a link to the Discord. We've also got our Telegram and Twitter there. Purple attack helicopter. I like it. You know what? I don't care about silk. Guess we'll leave that at twenty. Crap, I didn't want to do that. Uh... And that. And weapons. There we go. Trying to decide what I actually put bring here. Have enough points for another year. How about a nanny goat and a billy goat? Oh, I can't afford both. Fine, be that way. See if I care. Can I get bins? Bins would be nice.
Jeez. All right. Thank you very much for coming by, Cactus. Have a fantastic evening. I'm actually going to be ending here shortly anyways myself. But I really appreciate you coming by and hanging out. on wood. materials and none of them are in alphabetical order oh there's the buckets or barrels. I really want bins. Maybe there's something else I could use. Ooh, charcoal would be nice to start with. It's a little expensive. Eh, I'll pass on those. I can make those myself. I'm instead just gonna start with some more food and drink. I'll go with 15 on both of the on these. Plump helmets themselves, so expensive. There. And let's name our fort. Necrocraft? No! <laughs> Absolutely not! I deci decided to uh, check that. God, it was your fault. You know what? Fuck it, Necro. <laughs> Actually, no. No, we're not doing Necro. But what about Dust? Yeah. Dustcraft. I could go for that. And Balk. 
Please don't crash on me. Alright guys, well it is time for me to get to work here, so that is it for our stream. Uh, I was not expecting that to take as long as it did, but hey, at least the fort is going to be ready for uh, Saturday. Or maybe sooner, depends on how D&D goes. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. Uh, thank you to my patrons, donators, and subscribers. Because of you guys, I can keep bringing you this content. Uh, thank you for those follows. Uh, Bergendorf, if you're still in here, thank you so much for that subscription. Welcome. Uh, I hope you uh, stick around and keep enjoying the streams. And yeah, I will be back tomorrow with... Hopefully with Tales of Miraleth, Dungeons and Dragons. So, bye for that. But for now, I thank you all so much for your support. And I bid you all a very fond adieu. Good night, guys. Good night, Anir. Good night, Asen.